Dreaming big is what it's all about, and no one dreams bigger than Pixar. Pete Docter was one of Pixar's earliest employees, and he's now the chief creative officer. So it's my pleasure to welcome Pete to the stage. Hello, D23 Expo. It is so great to be here. We're going to show you what we've been, un we've been up to lately, what you can expect from us in the coming years, starting with an original theatrical film that is releasing in the summer of 2023. It's called Elemental. And to tell you more about it, please welcome director Pete Sohn and producer Denise Reem. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. We're so excited to share our film with you today. So please welcome our Ember and Wade, Leah Lewis and Mamadou Ache. Woo! What's up, D23 Expo? Hey, what's up, D23? I am most excited to see the audience really connect to a character that loves her family, is incredibly hard on herself, and is just filled with love that she has to give. She's someone that is an amazing character, but also still has a lot of self-work. And um, to see her also meet a water boy who kind of like changes her whole take on life. I'm excited for people to see that maybe our differences can actually bring us together too. These Pixar scripts are the best. They're like the best. They, they, they're the best. Um, but also the, there's a family element. So there's a, I, I, I mean, I'm a first generation immigrant myself. So it's, it feels very close to me. Now we are working on our first original long form series set to be released on Disney Plus in 2023. The idea is fantastic. It comes from these two very talented filmmakers, Carrie Hobson and Michael Yates. They have been working on this for a little while and they are here to share with all of us. So let's bring them out. This is Win or Lose. We're so excited to announce that we've cast Will Forte as Coach Dan. Yeah, I think uh, part of the show is we introduce characters and you kind of view them one way, and then when we get to the next episode or their own episode, we kind of pull back this curtain and reveal who they really are. And I think I was really excited to see how that audience expectation of who this character is changes from episode, going from like, I hate this character to I love this character. We've really tried to put elements of ourselves, but also our friends and our people we work with. And it's those little things that make us laugh or like, make the people in our crew laugh because, and then I hope that resonates with other people because they'll find themselves in that and they'll be like, oh, I do that with my mom. I'm, you know, so embarrassed of my mom, but I love her, you know, like we've all been there. Here are the two leaders making our next original film. Please welcome director Adrian Molina and producer Mary Alice Drum. It's called Elio and we're excited to be announcing it right now here at D23 Expo. Please welcome to the stage the voice of Elio's mom, America Ferreira! Woo! Hi, D23 Expo! I'm thrilled to introduce you all to our Elio, someone I've fallen in love with in two minutes and you're all about to fall in love with. Please welcome Jonas Kibria. Hello, D23 Expo! Give it up for America! <laughs> I'm just so grateful to be in a Pixar movie and play Elio. Wow. Oh. He's so cute! So exciting, my gosh. I don't think I've ever been in a room with that many people. It was huge. I couldn't see the, the horizon of, of the fans. Um, they were great. So much energy, so much excitement. Um, I think they seem charmed by Elio and by little Jonas who could not be charmed by him. He's like the most charismatic kid in the world. But it's so exciting. It was, a, it was very hard to keep it a secret because I was super excited to tell everybody. But now I can tell everybody and hopefully they're super excited to see. All right, so there you have it. That is a look at things to come from us. We visited the world of Elemental. We met the team from Win or Lose and we introduced you all to Elio. So from all of us at Pixar, we want to thank you so much. Can you, what? 
Pete. Do you, do you guys hear that or is that just the voice in my head? No, silly, it's me, Amy. Amy Poehler. Thank you for D23. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. D23. <laughs> well, I think they're going to, um, we're going to go back to Riley's head, but she's going to be a teenager uh, and all of the emotions that come with that. And I think that Joy, like us, is going to be a little confused by how things work um, just when she has the system down. So I think that's life, right? This is the minute you think you figure something out, you grow, you change new emotions come in and you have to navigate them. So I think Joy's gonna be like us and she's gonna be a little confused. Now, it's only fitting that we end the show where it all began nearly a century ago, Walt Disney Animation Studios. Please welcome Jennifer Lee. I'm excited that the first collaboration with an outside studio ever in our hundred years is with the three gentlemen I have the honor to introduce you to now. Please welcome to the stage our collaborators on the series of Waju, the Kugali founders, Olafakayu Ziki Adeola, Hamid Ibrahim, and Tolu Oluwafayeku. <laughs> How are you guys doing? On stage, we said Iwaju is a love letter to Lagos. So we tried to embed as much of the unique feel of the city as we could. And now, in a film about family, legacy, and what we leave behind for the generations that follow, he's doing it again in his strangest world yet. Oscar-winning director of Big Hero 6, Don Hall, is reteaming with the incredible co-writer of Raya, Kui Gwen, for this all-new adventure. So please welcome to the stage director Don Hall and co-director and writer Kui Gwen. Hey, everybody. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> oh, we are so excited to tell everybody more about Strange World. Please welcome Jake Gyllenhaal. Dennis Quaid, Jabuki Young White, and Lucy Liu. Welcome to D23 Expo, everybody. So you might be wondering, how did the wishing star, upon which so many of our beloved characters wish, come to be? I'm excited to announce our 2023 feature film, Wish. This film means so much to all of us at the studio, and it has been an incredible collaboration across all the generations. I've had the honor to contribute as one of the writers on the film, and the, <laughs> and the film couldn't be in better directorial hands. One is an incredible filmmaker trained by one of Walt's nine old men, and the other is the filmmaker that is blowing us away and leading the next generation at the studio. So please welcome to the stage my fellow Frozen director, the fantastic Chris Buck, and joining Chris as director on Wish, Fawn Verus and Thorn. Amazing. This is, uh, this is my third time here, and I think the crowd gets better and better, don't you? Disney Animation's good luck charm, Alan Tudyk. Yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. We thank you all for being here today, and we want to leave you with this exclusive performance. D23 Expo, here to sing more for us. Please welcome our leading lady, our Asha, the Academy Award-winning actress, the one and only Ariana DeBose. <laughs> 
This was very special, and to know I'm a part of a film celebrating a hundred years of Disney animation is, I don't know, that's that's a big that's a big one. Written by the incredible Julia Michaels, like it's a new wishing song for a new generation, and I'm really proud to be a part of the Disney family moving us forward.